Uh, we got Helen. Hey, Helen, how are you? Hey, I'm great. Um, I'm fairly new, and I'm still working on finalizing my um, my website. So I'm in a situation where we're moving our community from an existing site that we've had for like 16 years over to brilliant directories. So I still have to move the members over and, you know, extract data from the old site, bring it over to the new one. When I'm ready to, you know, go live, I'm a little bit worried about, you know, making that switch over and um, trying to make sure that I thought of everything. And is it possible to, you know, when I switch over the domain, is that a one-time switch or is there a way to try it and then go back or or have them be simultaneously live? Is I'm just wondering if there's any way to for, sort of beta test the new site on Brilliant Directories before I completely abandon the old. Um, absolutely, absolutely. So I have I have a few considerations that you should take into account. Okay. So so first of all, you can definitely set up like a subdomain like new site dot mysite.com. So so you can keep the current the www of your of your current site online, uh -huh. and you can work on your BD site on a subdomain, or you can just continue working on the directory up. URL that BD provides uh, okay. provides you. The most important thing when you're switching from another platform is you want to make sure that the old web pages are being redirected to their corresponding new web pages. Now, do you have member profiles and search results on your current website? No, because we really haven't had, um, that's why we wanted to go to Brilliant Directories, because we wanted to make it a much more interactive experience for our members. And so um, so I was in the process of, of creating new landing pages that will replace our public-facing site. But then um, the profile pages is going to be a fairly new feature that we wanted to, you know, enhance the experience for our paid members. Gotcha. And do you have Google Analytics on your current website? Do you know? Do. Yes. You do. Okay. So this is what I would recommend doing. This, I think, would be the most important thing is you don't want to lose traffic from your existing pages to the new pages of your website. So what I would do is go into Google Analytics, and I believe you can download or export your most popular pages and get the okay. URL for those. There, okay. There is some kind of an export tool here. So... Mm -hmm. You know, just depending on how big your site is, maybe you want to export like a list of your top 100 URLs and put them in, ex in an Excel sheet. And just okay. make sure that you have a corresponding page with the exact same URL, or if you're updating the URL, that you've set up a redirect. Um, okay. And you would do a redirect in your, in your developer hub, 301 redirects. So you just put the source URL, which is the old one, to the mm -hmm. new URL. So okay. the most important consideration is basically you don't want to lose any existing traffic you're getting to your site. So mm -hmm. by exporting a list of, you know, whatever, 50, 100, however big your, what, how many web pages you have on your site from analytics and then making sure that it has a corresponding new page on your Brilliant Directories website, that's, okay. the, that's how to have like a seamless transition. Then, you know, you're not missing out on any existing traffic that's coming to your most popular pages or links you have around your, the internet to your most popular pages. Okay, great. I think that's the most important consideration. Okay, thank you. I'll do that. You're very welcome. Good question there. Thank you, Helen. Good luck.